The wheel, humankind's greatest invention, right? Turn it into a sphere and it's the only shape that allows smooth rolling movement between two surfaces. Except it's not. These are known as solids of constant width. Several years ago, I came across a video covering these 3D forms on a YouTube channel, Grand Illusions. Highly recommended. These objects are actually derived from 2D shapes known as curves of constant width. The concept that something could roll but not be round totally messes with your head, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be as obsessed with them as I am. This is known as a Rouleau Triangle, and it's a shape of constant width, and it has some scary looking maths attached to it, but it's actually dead simple to draw, as you can see here in Fusion. Just take an equilateral triangle and add circles with their centers at each point, intersecting the other two points. As this object rotates, the height stays exactly the same, although the center point does not, which means that as actual wheels, it would be a pretty bumpy ride. Some of you may recognize this shape from something else, the Wankel or rotary engine. Side note, I quite like rotaries, so if you've got a Mazda RX-8 you'd be willing to sell, uh, let me know. <laughs> anyway, we've established the mind-bending fact that something that rolls true does not have to be truly round. But what about these 3D forms? Well, it's actually a simple matter of getting that shape and rotating it around one of the axes. Bam, solid of constant width. So that's pretty neat, but it gets even more insane. There is actually an infinite variation of these solids possible. You just have to alter a few variables. Variable number one, number of sides. You can create a solid of constant width from any odd number sided polygon. Here's one based off a pentagon, that is five sides. And this one's a heptagon, seven sides. As the side number increases, the curves will get closer and closer to that of a true sphere. So the higher you go, the less impressive and unusual the shapes look. After designing these in Fusion 360, I exported the STLs and brought them into Mesh Mixer to sort out scaling. If you've done it right, the dimensions should be identical in all axes. You should be able to scale your designs to be the exact same size as each other without any issue. One problem with this, with so many lovely curves, there'll be, have to be one side that faces down and contacts the support material that's gonna hold it in place. And these won't look nearly as nice as the rest of the part, unfortunately. So you wanna do it on as small a contact area as is possible. I use Slicer Prusa Edition to create the G-code and these are all printed on the Prusa i3 Mark II in Poly Alchemy Elixir PLA filament. I love this stuff. It prints awesome, the support material removes cleanly, and it has a very lovely sheen to it to show off the gentle curves of the final object. Something I also found interesting is you don't have to use an equilateral triangle. You can create additional circles that follow the projected lines out from the triangle and convert any triangle into a shape of constant width. However, as yet, I haven't figured out how you turn these shapes into 3D forms because they're not symmetrical. If you have any idea how to do that, I would love to know in the comments below. Please let me know, because I'd love to try it out. Similarly, I don't know if even-sided polygons will work. My research leads me to believe that a hexagon can be made to almost work, but I don't believe it is a true uh, object of constant width. But again, I'd love to be proven wrong here. And it doesn't get much more mind-bending than this. Three completely different polygons, a triangle, uh, pentagon and heptagon created into uh, solids of constant width and as you can see they're all exactly the same height as they roll and you can roll an object along them like that as if they were ball bearings but they're not they are completely completely different to a regular sphere absolutely nuts and while I've got you I'd like to thank this video's sponsor you guys thanks to your support on patreon I'm able to keep bringing you content such as this through the current troubled time that is YouTube 2017. And I really do truly appreciate your support. So if you'd like to help keep this channel going, please have a look over on Patreon and see if you'd like to support the channel and consider pledging. It's never compulsory, but it is always appreciated. So there you have it guys. The sphere isn't the only thing that can roll. And once again, the world becomes that just that little bit more strange thanks to the wonders of 3D printing. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing to Make Us Muse for more 3D printing projects, reviews, and tutorials. My name's Angus, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing, guys. Bye.